We're going to begin our unit on Earth and the Universe by talking about the cycle of day and night. And basically when we talk about cycles, we're talking about processes that repeat themselves. We learn about maybe the life cycle of a butterfly, where you start with an egg that hatches into a caterpillar, builds a cocoon that turns the caterpillar into a butterfly. That's a cycle, an ongoing process that always happens the same way, always happens through those same stages. And Earth's cycle of day and night is no different. You have a 24-hour cycle where we have a period of daylight followed by a period of darkness. And we're going to look in this lesson about why that actually happens. We think of Earth as sitting here and being still because we don't feel it moving, but the reality is Earth is constantly moving in space. And this movement causes not only the cycle of day and night, but also affects seasons and other things that we experience on Earth. As Earth sits in space, it's not sitting still as we said, it's actually constantly spinning on an invisible line between the North and South Pole that we refer to as Earth's axis. And this axis is basically just a fixed point around which Earth spins, and we call that spinning rotation. So as Earth is sitting, spinning in place, it is, we say it's rotating. And it takes 24 hours for Earth to make one complete rotation. As the Earth rotates, half of our planet will be facing toward the Sun, and half of the planet will be facing away from the Sun. So the side of Earth that is facing towards the Sun will have daylight, because the Sun is illuminating it, whereas the side that's on the opposite will have nighttime because Earth is blocking this side from receiving any sunlight, therefore it's dark. As we said, one rotation takes 24 hours, meaning roughly 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. But as we'll see in the next lesson, other factors such as the tilt of the axis and the season of the year will also affect exactly how much daylight and exactly how much darkness certain areas of Earth will receive. 